YouTube suffered a major outage last night. The website was down for almost two hours. Our hundreds of thousands of customers are without power across California. This blackout that left tens of thousands of New Yorkers in the dark. Large areas of the UK, including parts of London, were hit with major power failures on Friday. All over every major city in Maybe they'll take me to their Government has yet to ascertain the motive. It's creepy how they do Really big. They blow up army bases. All of the capitals. Then they came. Google owned YouTube went down for over an hour. The second most visited website in the world experienced an outage late Tuesday night. Users took to social media in outrage. YouTube took to Twitter apologizing for the inconvenience, but gave no reason for what actually caused the outage. Massive power outage plunging into Venezuela into darkness. Blackouts all over the country. They've become completely routine, uh, I should say, in this country. But this one is different. This one is different because it is a complete breakdown of the electrical grid power system. And it's impacting nearly all of the country's 23 states. The consequences more than 24 hours into this are already severe. We have learned tonight that the country's main morgue in Caracas is totally full and can no longer take bodies. Without any power, you can't buy food. You can't get fuel for a generator. Hospitals are struggling to keep on working. It's a country in darkness. People are dying. This is a story that may go away for you as a viewer after you watch this. This is a story that doesn't go away for me as a, as a journalist. It, it, it stays with me constantly because I'm incredibly worried for what's going to happen with the people I know and my relatives in the country. My family, of most Venezuelan family, is quite big, so I've got a, quite a big spread of people in different parts of the country. A lot of people I'm talking to regularly uh, tell me about helplessness. They never thought it would come to this. This is like The Walking Dead. This is like living in the apocalypse. You can't go to a cash machine. You can't uh, get on the internet. Um, you cannot go to a shop and buy something you need. I've been speaking to doctors in different hospitals and they tell me how much of a struggle it is to keep, for instance, intensive care equipment going. So children with intensive care equipment had to be switched off. And when I asked her, but what happens to them in the meantime, she was like, well, they are in the hands of God. A lot of my family are asking me in London what's going on in the country because there is no way to check on your phone or they're trying to call other people but their mobile phone systems are down. And I just still don't think we know how deep of a problem it still is because some regions are virtually out of reach. <laughs> The government is calling this a cyber attack, but I think the widespread view is most, most likely Venezuela has been suffering from power shortages for at least 10 years, and this is just the result of a, of a huge infrastructure failing. I think the major worry for all Venezuelans is that if there is a structural problem with the main dam that provides hydro energy to all of the country, then this is not going to go away caused a social media meltdown. But Facebook says it's 100% back up and running after a roughly day-long outage that made it difficult for users to access its apps and services. Partial shutdowns hit Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook for several hours across the globe on Wednesday and into Thursday. It was one of the longest crashes faced by the parent company Facebook Inc. in the recent past. And although Insta proudly announced on Wednesday night their platform had recovered, Facebook was out for the count for many hours to come. The company is attributing the failure to what a spokesperson called a server configuration issue without giving any details. 
and are investigating the overall impact of outages. That includes whether advertisers could be eligible for refunds. Down Detector's live outage map showed people in the US, Japan and parts of Europe were affected by the social media blackout. The Facebook down and Instagram down hashtags were trending on one of the only unaffected platforms, Twitter. So if you woke up and one of the first things you do is check your social media accounts where you probably notice a little something difficult, uh, not working maybe. Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram all dealing with outages right now. The main issues are in the northeastern U.S., Europe and the Philippines. But some people even in our newsroom here having problems getting on. No, we're yet what's causing that problem. But in the meantime, maybe just call whoever it is you needed to talk to. You probably have a, you need to just double tap something. I got to double up. We'll have to give it a rest, at least for now. Millions of people in Argentina woke up on Father's Day to an entirely dark city. I was just on my way to eat with a friend, but we had to cancel everything. There's no subway, nothing is working. The lack of power brings so many difficulties. And today is Father's Day. I just talked to a neighbour and he told me his sons won't be able to meet him. The blackout hit just after 7 a.m. on Sunday. As dawn broke, traffic lights stayed dark and cars slowed to a crawl. Trains stopped on their tracks and many shops stayed closed. As workers struggled to restore power to Argentina's 44 million people, officials said the blackout was caused by an unprecedented failure in the power grid. But why it occurred is still a mystery. Now to a social media glitch affecting some of the billions of Facebook and Instagram users preventing them from uploading and seeing photos and videos. Oh my, ABC's Janae Norman is here. And Janae, a lot of users, I joke, but they were fired up about this. Right, I mean, upset to say the least, guys. You may have noticed it also. Facebook and Instagram apologized a little after noon Eastern time yesterday of all places on Twitter, saying they were working to get things back to normal. About seven hours later, not only did Instagram announce everything was working again, look, it posted a celebratory gift that's very seasonably appropriate, fireworks. Nuclear EMP or electromagnetic pulse is the electric shock wave triggered by a nuclear blast. It has the ability to fry every single electronic circuit in its range, destroying most devices unless they're shielded. The higher the altitude a nuclear weapon detonates, the wider the effect is over its target. All right, so what does this mean? It means once an EMP goes off, everything affected by it goes dark, literally. A single nuclear bomb exploding high enough can destroy a country's ability to light its streets, power its hospitals, run its stock exchange, access the internet, or use a phone. Most trappings of the 21st century would simply stop working. No car or plane would move, no police officer or fireman could be called, no supermarket restocked. Modern life as we know it would simply cease to exist. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has threatened to do just this, to detonate a single nuclear weapon high up in the atmosphere above the United States. And while very little blast damage would be felt, more than 320 million Americans would suddenly find themselves fighting for survival, without power, without lights and running out of food. Protection against this kind of attack is enormously expensive. The price tag running into the billions are not guaranteed to work. And although some exaggerated estimates claim up to 90% of Americans would die as a consequence, one thing's for sure, it would take months, if not years, for the country to fully recover. That mysterious blackout that left tens of thousands of New Yorkers in the dark. Power knocked out for more than 70,000 customers. Hundreds of people were stuck in elevators. Others were stranded on the subway. And there are still problems this morning. ABC's Ariel Reshef is outside in Times Square with the latest on the investigation into what happened. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Amy. There's still an urgent hunt for answers this morning after more than 30 blocks of this city were paralyzed Saturday night. Some iconic landmarks, including some of the billboards right Right here in Times Square, going dark, a main bus terminal still without air conditioning this morning. We have a uh, major blackout. This morning, electric company Con Edison investigating why a large swath of Manhattan plunged into darkness. More than 72,000 customers without power on a steamy Saturday evening. We have to make sure it doesn't happen again, and the system is designed in such a way that it doesn't happen again. Some neon billboards in Times Square, pitch black. On iconic Broadway, lights out. Stoplights at some busy intersections off, leaving pedestrians to step in to direct traffic. Emergency responders racing to roughly 400 elevator rescues. 
people trapped in elevators in both towers. Underground, nearly 3,000 passengers stuck or left waiting for trains. And a Jennifer Lopez concert at Madison Square Garden. Oh, oh. Cut off. They're asking everybody to evacuate. Houston, we're not scheduled for any satellite launches today, are we? ISS Houston, stand by. We may have a problem here. Houston, this is ISS Control. Um, any word on the... Very, very carefully. Look at that. It's all sh 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 gonna turn off. What? It's gonna turn off and it will never, ever turn back on. What's gonna turn off? What are you talking about? Everything. Everything is gonna turn off. Ben, did I lose you? No, no, no. Miles. world. We relied on it for everything. And then the power went out. Everything stopped working. We weren't prepared. Fear and confusion led to panic. The lucky ones made it out of the cities. The government collapsed. Militias took over, controlling the food supply and stockpiling weapons. We still don't know why the power went out. But we're hopeful that someone will come and light the way. Washington, D.C., dealing with a pretty major power outage right now in the 90-degree heat. Utility company Pepco reporting more than 24,000 customers are in the dark due to an issue at a substation on Florida Avenue in the northwest side of the city. There were as many as 33,000 outages earlier. According to Pepco's website, some of those customers won't get their power back until tomorrow afternoon. Before the war, I thought one day the world around me would start to make sense. And I ain't need nothing else, no one else but you and I. I was looking for reasons why things happen. Who is that? Edmund. He's the oldest. I guess I was pretty naive back then. You and I, no one else, nothing else but you and I. You I'm glad you came. It's better with you here. This is our home. We're not leaving. I want to be here with you. Girls, follow me. Wherever they take you, find a way to get back here. Promise me. You can't split us up. Come on, me. We need to get away from here. I've got everything together. We're going home. They're coming! Let her go! If the world doesn't...
doesn't end. If we can't get through this, I want to be home with you. And that's how I live now. A power cut caused travel chaos and cut electricity for almost one million people in England and Wales. National Grid says the problem was caused by two power stations failing at the same time, which is described as an incredibly rare event. Stranded trains, hours of travel chaos. And nearly a million people left in the dark. A day on and people are asking how problems at just two power plants could have caused such major national outages. In total, around 300,000 people in London and the South East were left without power, while in the Midlands, South West and Wales, 500,000 were affected. Northern Power Grid, which services Yorkshire and the North East, said 11,000 were affected, while 26,000 people were left in the dark in the North West. Is the Prime Minister. The situation in London today is very grave. Without fuel and supplies, people in the worst affected areas will die. We need to raise the threat level to serious and recall Cobra immediately. This is now a national emergency. This isn't a protest, it's an armed attack. You're riding a tiger here, aren't you? I am Tiger Robert. Because we are in total control! They've still got their foot on our throat. You are, Mr. Prime Minister! Yes, we are! No! No! We will bring back power. We will turn the lights on again. You do in the case of an EMP? Electromagnetic pulse. A burst of radiation that knocks out every electrical system in the country. Impending doom. What you reading, Dad? Ah! Honey, everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. When things go south, the sheeple will clean out every supermarket in town. Typical sheeple. Here it is, Homer. The Springfield Preppers' top secret bug out retreat. Wow, your end of the world is better than my during the world. Homer, we all know America's collapse is about three months away. Six weeks at most. There's always one alarmist. Anyway, when the four horsemen ride, we want you and your collaterals right here with us. Hidden all our supplies behind a fake wall. I thought the basement looked cleaner. See? These are our bug out bags. In here is everything we need to survive. Survive what? The looming kablooey. It's reassuring to see you're aware of the future, but this is all a little creepy. Creepy? March, the apocalypse is coming. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe never. But it's coming. And soon. I'm going to bed. An EMP? Turn off the lights! Turn off the lights! Tens of thousands of workers from companies like Florida Power and Light and Duke Energy Florida. Well, they also have some out-of-state companies that are positioned now to respond to potential widespread outages that could last up to a week. And there are upwards of 5 million people possible without power from Savannah all the way to Salisbury, Maryland. There's a lot of angry people in California where hundreds of thousands of people in that state could be without power for days in the largest public safety outage in that state's history. PG&E started shutting off the power last night. More than half of California's 
58 counties because of what the company calls an unprecedented wildfire danger. Millions of people in California are facing an unprecedented wildfire danger. Two major fires are burning across the state, prompting mandatory evacuations. The fires have burned a combined total of more than 30,000 acres. Dozens of structures and homes have been damaged or destroyed. And tonight, California's largest utility plans to shut off power to nearly a million customers in an effort to prevent more wildfires from sparking. North Bay residents were facing another round of shutoffs on Tuesday. Fear this will be their new normal. This is third world conditions. Uh, Other countries uh, like had figured out how to put the electrical under the ground so they don't have this issue. Again, PG&E is expecting to do another round of shutoffs on Tuesday. This time, about 600,000 customers will be affected. Many of those are the same ones that are without power tonight in the North Bay. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. <laughs> Thousands of Optimum customers are without their cable, internet, and phone service. The company reporting a widespread outage that includes parts of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, and says it's working to restore service as quickly as possible. An Optimum outage map shows the extent of the problem here. Many police departments are sending out text alerts to residents. Austin Police in Westchester County posted on Facebook, please don't tie up our lines to ask when your TV will come back on. We need those to be free for actual emergencies. Disney Plus facing outages on launch day. It is, is it a sign of things to come for the mouse's effort into the streaming wars? Christina Partsinevelos has been following this story for us all day, and she's live in the newsroom. Christina. Disney is pretty much saying that these outages are due to so many people checking out the website, checking out the platform. But according to downdetector.com, there's over 100,000 different reports uh, from people around the globe and most, more so in the United States and Canada that are suffering from these outages. From Washington now, a lockdown at the White House is just being lifted, apparently after an unauthorized plane flew into the airspace over D.C. Light. This is what Paris is made of. The light of avant-garde. The light of audacity. Can you imagine Paris without it? What if we followed the rules? What if we'd obeyed those who wanted to destroy this weird scaffolding? Can this light be turned off? Pour plus un, vous allez? Non, on voit rien dans la vidéo. C'est quoi ça? Peut-être que l'électricité va couper. Oh 
<تصفيق> آه، بلمون این طوری؟ Our war is not for our fate. We fight to remove all foreign power from our soil. We are Al Qatala. We are the killers. We fight without sorrow. We wage war without sympathy. This is the only way to live and die. As well. Where are you? Occupied. I've got a problem. Russians? Word travels fast. Chemical weapons have fallen into terrorist hands. They could be anywhere. Paris, New York. London. When can you brief? We just did. Sergeant Garrick, roger up. Go for Garrick. Yes. Terror threat level is now critical. Possible multiple attackers. Bombers or something worse. Do we have snipers in position? Negative, Sergeant. Can't unduly alarm the public. Terrorists know that too, sir. Garrick, don't turn London into a war zone, clear? Yeah, Crystal. Out. Looks like we're on our own, lads. We'll handle it. Let's get it done, yeah? A hey, firm. Sergeant? Heads up. White van. Weapons in view. That's them. Saber to Raven. White van, multiple military age males. Weapons visible. Moving to intercept. Roger. Unless an attack is imminent, do not engage. White van. Left side. Go! 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 Police! Please! Get your hands up now! Get down on the ground! Make right now! Mistake. I'm not gonna tell you Make again! Suspect There's been a detonation at Piccadilly Circus. Shots fired. Officers down. Police in London are searching tonight for a motive into a new terror attack in the British capital. It happened today when a man wielding a knife went on a stabbing spree, killing two people and seriously wounding three others. Witnesses say he was wearing a suicide vest, but the vest turned out to be fake. Police shot and killed the attacker. But... Let's reheat pasta. Reheating pasta. It's cool, right? Yeah, I didn't know you guys put Alexa in a microwave. Yeah, we're putting her in a lot of stuff now. But trust me, there are a lot of fails. Like, like what? The incident. Wait, that, that was you guys? I don't know, was it? <laughs> Down. She Power says down. she's doing it, Power but I don't down. see anything to you. Kim Jong-un had promised to deliver what the regime called a Christmas gift if the U.S. failed to restart negotiations to lift sanctions against the country. As the United States military is on high alert, especially in the Pacific, after North Korea warned of a possible, quote, Christmas gift, a state news agency reporting that Kim Jong-un held a meeting with top military officials. New images show Kim Jong-un riding a white horse. 
touring snow-covered battle sites. North Korea's Kim Jong-un sporting a fur-lined coat, riding on a decorated white horse. It also evokes another strong man on horseback. Of course, who could forget this from Russia's Vladimir Putin back in 2009? But as silly as all this looks, experts say this could mean Kim is ready to make some big announcement amid a souring diplomacy with the United States. And Attention all companies, the city of New Orleans is under a cyber attack. Please power off your computers and unplug them immediately. That ominous message went out to New Orleans firefighters today. The city of New Orleans becomes the target of a cyber attack impacting several essential city services. And about that cyber attack came across the scanners in our newsroom and then we got confirmation from the city. So what happened and what's been impacted? What we know is that our employees did not respond or give out any of that information. The investigation will tell us exactly how the compromise happened. We don't know that yet, but none of our employees confirmed that they interacted with or provided any credentials or any information to possible attackers or ransomware. Northwest Corridor. What's going on? Get to the cabin. Get, you take care of your brother, you hear me? Uh, now go now, go while you still can. Let's go! go. If you're seeing this broadcast, you are in a part of the country no longer controlled by the government of the United States. I learned things that no one is talking about. Things that can change my life, your life, and the lives of everyone you know forever. I started thinking about how fragile life is and how ill-prepared we are for this. The story I'm about to tell you is about the vulnerability of America's power system, our grid. And it's also about a series of forces and individuals who, instead of doing the right thing for you and me, are interfering with the ability to protect our way of life. Who of us could ever envision a 9-11 happening? But the difference between 9-11 and what I'm about to tell you is that we know this can happen. The question is not will it happen, but when will it happen? But Washington is doing little, if anything, to prevent it. And the consequences, those consequences would be a million times worse than 9-11. One day you're enjoying the comforts of life. The next, everything is different. Civilization as you know it is gone the death toll would be staggering. Even a blue ribbon congressional commission predicted a major catastrophe with mass American fatalities. And government studies prove an electromagnetic pulse would destroy all electronics and the transform power everything, anything with an on off switch. Your hot water heater, your refrigerator, your dialysis machine, Hospitals closed, grocery shelves empty, most of the food you have at home spoiled. And forget about your bank accounts, what you have in your pocket is all you can access. The disaster that I'm talking about can be unleashed naturally by an intense solar flare or deliberately by an enemy detonating a nuclear weapon in the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the Earth is exposed to an intense solar flaring roughly every 150 years. The last time it occurred was 1859. Do the math. We're due. Reports are that our grid has already been penetrated by our enemies, leaving behind software programs that can compromise it. Now, I'm not saying this to panic anyone. But everyone, including our enemies, knows that an artificially created electromagnetic pulse will shut down all power, which risks our survival. And what's even more frightening 
is that this can be prevented. But as with most problems, greed, self-interest, and politicians who care more about their next election than the American people and a total lack of leadership interfere with your safety. Let's go, ready? Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Turn them off.